Internet to offer me $300 mm. to get on the next available flight. I'm not going to do it, Sheriff. You know why? Because I want to fly today. Ah, Brother O'Neill. Fuck you, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're the guy stealing contracts. You burnt a farm, killed my brothers. You had too many brothers. They needed calling. You're fucking dead. Aren't we all? We live and we die. That's our curse. Hey, you want to expedite the situation? Come fucking find me. Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck. I'll be there, man. I don't know when, but I'll be there. Down to their bowels, right? To stir things up in the bowels. You understand? That's a cleanser. That's a damn cleanser. They sit on that toilet bowl, side saddle, and put one elbow on that flusher. You understand? Because everything's coming out. You know what? I'm getting Lionel back. Lionel was a damn good producer. Who's on the line? Please tell me it's Lionel. Lionel, you calling for your job back? Lionel! Ray, I love the vibe, but it's mostly bullshit. What the hell? We are raising awareness around here. Awareness, you dumbass fool! That's all it takes, and pretty soon, shit has changed. Because people over realize they're being aware because you're getting awareness, and you don't know you got awareness until you get the damn awareness. Won't you tell me what I'm doing here? And we have done it all by holding a protest sign and wearing tie-dyes and smoking cheap. That's not actually doing anything, is it? What are you talking about? The first three letters in red and red are R-A-Y. Raising awareness. Bumper stickers create change. People see that shit and think while they're driving. The text on that bumper sticker is speaking to me right now. At a red... So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. hey. All right. So, let's sit up. Here's the plan. All right, Trevor. Yeah. I want you in this position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley in a tow truck. Hope is they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, true to professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right, the masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <sighs> Let's do this. Let's go, go. It's an old TV, right, sitting on legs. It's in a flat screen. This TV bigger than the damn refrigerator. And it has a knob on it. And it's channels. And my brain is turning them damn channels. I channeled my ancestors on that old ass TV. You understand? I channeled. All right, T, I'm in position. What's the ETA? Where are they? I got a visual on the target. Should be with you any moment. Michael, you better get on your way. Get the truck in position. Block both lanes of traffic. Or you can be at the top of the food chain and chase down fools yourself as I do. You damn right. Just stop the truck and keep it stationary. Right? I got the damn fool. All right, I pulled up. Get ready, Frank.
Did Public Works change their schedule? You better brace yourselves, you motherfuckers! See you! 
through, just to the right. You gotta take him out, T. Up there, man, on the roof. Come on, T. If you don't deal with these snipers, they're gonna deal with me. I got visual on the snipers, they're going down! Yeah, man, fuck you! Clear, clear! They're bringing in the sniper team, T! Take them out, man! Stay safe.
Everything cool? Yeah, man. Shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston. Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom! So long, motherfucker! Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores, big ticket cars, major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right, me and Trevor will be there too. I promise you, it's a step up for you. A real opportunity. I love staring at ceilings. I love mirrored ceilings. I watch the lion on display, only backwards. A man grows old, but a lion grows distinguished. I am a lion. They put me in the cage. Damn, one of these days I gotta get paid.
did. You got off lucky, homie. Log 8-9-Zeta-3X. Wait. Wait! Wait! Stop! What's the problem, homie? Wait. Carbon-based life form. Check. Six feet tall. Check. Slightly excessive adipose tissue. Normal distribution. Check. Readings are... Readings are... Shoot. This little machine is broken again. Check. Star date 14-9-305. Time is... 789 past the ninth meridian. We are clear. Whew. Greetings, CBL. Carbon-based life form. Greetings, homie. Have you seen them, CBL? Seen who? I don't know. They came to me last week. There was a brilliant joy and a terrible confusion. And they were laughing and screaming and crying all at once. And some said, Omega, we come in peace. And others said, we have come to enslave you. We are an infinitely intelligent race of super cosmic beings, and out of the six billion people on this planet, we have chosen you for no good reason. And just then, they were about to abduct me and do experiments on me when their ship crashed. Man, you done lost your motherfucking mind. And now, I've got to find the pieces. Man, bullshit. Look, look. See this? If you see some, if you see some, let me know. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will, man. Resuming data scan. What a freak.
stood up for what I deserved in divorce court. Our legal system recognizes the contribution a spouse makes to the other's success. <laughs> Excuse me? Fernando not laughing. He, um, I think you deserve more. Yes! We do deserve more! I took 80% of my ex-husband's wealth. Like many women, I said one thing before we got married, then stopped doing any of those things afterwards, and acted indignantly when my husband got upset. And that ability to lie, change my mind, makes me perfect for elected office. Now I'm ready to sign a contract with our great state and be your next governor, because I've proven I'm someone you can trust to break their word when it's for the best, and that's what we need in a leader. We should talk about border security. The yes. fuck is wrong with you? I was thinking about the gaping hole in our nation's security. We have to dig that hole. We are all exposed. Shut it tight. Ah, uh, Fernando. Sorry, what happens to fight? We gotta plug the gap. But at the same time, we should allow some undocumented workers in for a party time. I know, Fernando became an American the courageous way, by our winning this speedboat. Well, we need to make sure we can pledge to our children, and our children's children, that they will have clean air to breathe, clean bottled water to drink, and most of all, that the rich will pay their fair share, which I compute to be about 82.5% of all future income. So what you're saying, Sue, is... You've made a lot of money, and going forward, nobody else will be able to. Exactly. I'm very wealthy, and I'm making sacrifices. So the middle class will have to get on board, too. It stands to reason, does it? Yes. Whoa! If we want a fairer world, it stands to reason that you need a rich, impartial person to tell you how to make it fair. This is something Vinewood understands in I'm going to take it across the state. Let's get back on track. I think we have a health crisis in this country, and people should have the medicine they need, like Proposition 208. Yes, Fernando loves medical cocaine. I see pretty lady, you look like you are not feeling well. No, I will help you. I have put a row of medicine down here for you. Oh, yes. She's feeling much better now. Maybe you want to take it like a suppository. Oof. Yes, yes. Ah! Questions for Miss Murray. Okay, line eight. Hello, you are on the Fernando show with Sue Murray. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm a big sports fan. Let's go. Wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock and an entire courgette. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work. Oh, stunt double. Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap. Watch the birdie. Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, yes, like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah? Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this? Oh. Or like oh. that? Huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? now, dear. You like that? Oh. Stop! Oh. Oh. Please! Oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Thank hmm. you. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not I'm, worthy. Uh, I'm not Jock, uh... What's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. They're not like you or me. M M Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my look, museum. Look, 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 look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. 
bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, they're a fruitcake.